Shalom, brothers and sisters. So by now you should know that organizations like the United Netwits, the Center for Disease Control, the World Health Organization, all these places are in it to control and to drive the agenda and to get us to where we need to be for the beast system to be fully realized. And they're doing fantastic jobs. Seriously, they need a raise. But um, whenever you see those names, you can look and see exactly what the plan is and what's coming if your eyes are open. So these next two are from the CDC and the World Health Organization. The CDC is warning to prepare for a winter trifecta of COVID, flu and RSV. Even as the nation is faced with blistering heat this summer, Dr. Mandy Cohen, director of the CDC, is already planning ahead for the flu season. We're going to have three bugs out there, COVID, flu and RSV. We need to make sure the American people understand all three so that they can protect themselves. There you go. Prediction of what is coming your way next. On top of all the other things like dengue fever and all those things. Then the World Health Organization warns that cases of dengue fever will reach close to record highs this year. Partly due to, wait for it, global warming and the way the climate has helped the mosquitoes spread. Climate must be a code word for Bill Gates. Bill Gates and his mosquito farms and spreading it all over the world so that it's even back in America in strength, but we'll call it climate, right? Rates of the disease are climbing worldwide. You go, Bill. With reported cases since 2000 up eightfold to 4.2 million in 2022. Europe has reported a surge in cases and Peru has declared a state of emergency. Seriously, Bill's getting the award this year. The Mosquito Gold Award. I wonder where they have those. Big get-togethers of all the elites discussing how they've best done their jobs. But those gates of hell will not prevail and they will have to stand before the good Lord very, very shortly and explain just how well they did with their programs. So, we have no fear because fear is not of God. We face everything with the smile, the full armor of God on and ready no matter what lies on our path and any suffering or anything that comes our way. We know we face it with Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit right by our side until we leave. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom.